Right, and they didn't want to protest here at the courthouse either because it's closed for the RNC. And by the way, 12 News does not share the addresses of any public officials. Devontae Mitchell's family is crying for justice after the 43-year-old was killed at Milwaukee's Hyatt Regency Hotel back on June 30th. Cell phone video shows four hotel workers on top of Devontae as he cries for help. Stay down! Please stop fighting! Please. My cousin did not have to go out like that. Um, it's truly heartbreaking. Samantha Mitchell, Devontae's cousin, and others chanting and chalking in front of the Milwaukee County District Attorney's house Tuesday with one demand. Criminal charges filed now. Not later, but now. The DA's office is investigating Devontae's death as a homicide. Several hotel workers were fired, but more than two weeks later, no one has been charged. How do you feel just knowing that some of those hotel staff were fired? Good. They need to be fired. More people need to be fired. Um, like I said, that's a start. The DA's office tells 12 News it's waiting on full autopsy results. Quote, we anticipate a swift decision in this matter upon the return of these findings. One thing we want to be, um, we want to push is that we don't want this swept on under, under the rug no matter what's going on in our city. If anything, we need to speak louder. And back out here live, Devontae Mitchell's family is planning to protest again on Thursday, hopefully at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, otherwise potentially back at the DA's house.